Hey guys, Kimo Cheese here. I'm back with part 5 of Unison League gameplay video for my alternate account. And today, um, I already have 30 gems saved up. So we'll, let's start doing some summons. Um, hopefully we'll get new equipment, so I'll look into skill allocating my points that I have 20 points saved up for. Um, I have some leftover augments that I'm going to use on my new equipment. And we'll be going into the new Mechanized Maiden Dungeon that came out a couple days ago that I wanted to try out for you guys. Alright, so that's the schedule for today, and let's get things started. So we're going to start off strong, and we'll start doing some summons. So this is my second time summoning, so no more beginner spawn. And this time around, I'm guaranteed at least one um, super rare or higher. So hopefully we'll get better RNG this time around. But you know, um, I can't beg and I can't ask for much, but we'll just see what we get. Ah, oh, okay, no rainbows this time around. So on this account, I have pretty bad luck compared to my main account, but it's whatever. I have no rainbows yet, but I'm not going to complain. I'll just take that. I just take what I can get and hopefully we'll get some better equipment. Alright. So some animals, a spear, a hat. So dupes. Pretty bad, pretty bad summons, but it's whatever. So hmm. I'm probably just gonna do one more spare one just for the heck of it. Um actually no, screw it, I'm not gonna do it. So still no weapons, so we'll stay in archer for now, unfortunately, but See, I think I have more armor this time. I got the same helmet again, and let's see. I think I have. Actually, I'll look into putting some points into my monsters. So we'll just up that for a while. I think six points will be enough. And we can look into changing my monsters around. So let's see. These will cost about 12. We'll place water, so I need. To Three more points into monsters. Okay. Three more points here. I can add this guy in. So stronger monsters now. Um, hats. Do I have any new hats? Alright, I have a couple new hats I can use. Um. Probably look to save everything for weapons, if anything. Um. Yeah, I'll just save it for um, weapons. Alright, so... Um, we have... I don't think we have much augments this time around. Uh, got pretty bad rolls, but um... Yeah, I think we'll just skip on augmenting for now, and just look to save up more gems for later. So, we'll start, um, going into quest. And I'll show you guys the... The new mechanized maiden dungeons. So I'm higher rank now, so I can do tier two of the dungeon. So we'll start doing this new one. There's a higher difficulty and a slightly higher, uh, higher chance to get the maiden drops. So we'll do these and see how it goes. So I've joined pretty late so far. I think uh, we already killed the first monster, and this is the second one. So I didn't join too late, but I think it'll be enough. Also, in this dungeon, you can get the uh, bronze cards, the ones that I've been farming in my last video for my we weapon. So, if you have keys, I can farm this place. It's pretty, it's pretty good. The EXP is pretty nice, and um, the rewards are a lot better than the other dungeons. But you need a key again to get in. So make sure if you want to farm this, to have a lot of keys and stuff. If you don't have any keys, just go back to the last dungeon in my last video and just farm those. Um, the most cost efficient way is if you need um, E cards to just farm at the lowest tier and it costs about 8 AP each and you can uh, just farm keys off there. And that's the most beneficial way to get keys. Slightly lagging, but uh, it's not that big of a deal right now. Um, I'm probably looking to see you to send my team right here. Um, right. I don't know why I'm so up close, honestly. 
<laughs> my character just slid up right in front of the face this attack. It's pretty funny. Um, I don't think I have like there, buddy. But if anyone does anything else, I can follow up with that. Alright, looks like we're just sticking to, uh, light. Which is pretty good, because she's a dark type, so it does more damage. And I think this should kill her. This is also my favorite, uh... Because it's the one uh, my guild use in uh, Guild Wars. And it's, I think it's one of the strongest one in my opinion. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty strong and uh, it gives a pretty good buff for light units. So it's pretty good. Alright, so the maidens dropped from the chest. And unfortunately, I got a thousand coins here. I wasn't expecting much, but um, it's. Well, I, I kind of wish I had a better monster. But. It doesn't really matter, I can still keep farming this. I have a couple more keys left. So I'll do this one more time for you guys to show you. And we got um two gold, one room stairs to sell for money, twenty uh, proficient points required uh, acquired. And we can do this one more time and I'll show you guys. The dungeon is um general generally not that hard, but it depends on what kind of teammates you get. Cause on the third one, like a week ago like two or three days ago I've been struggling on that solely because well I'm well compa com compared to my teammates I'm like generally really strong but I sometimes get like really bad teammates and they uh they just end up dying before we get to the boss room and it just it makes it a lot harder for me to actually beat the boss because um, I'm there fighting it by myself while the boss can just stun me and just like drain me to death because I'm a, I'm a tank I'm not a damage dealer on my paladin so it's a lot more difficult so it just comes down to having strong teammates and whatnot. Well, unless you're a really strong damage dealer, then you can probably just solo it straight up with the NPCs that you're given. So this time around, we have a paladin and a lancer, pretty strong allies to have. And I hope they don't replace the cleric because I really, really need a cleric, honestly. Unless these two do like a really um a hefty amount of damage to the monsters in a lot of fight. have a archer and I think uh, I don't know honestly because he's using a sword right now he's using an uh, archer skill so I'm not really sure if this guy uh, actually knows what he's doing for uh, archer he's using a sword right now but it's whatever I think this guy is still pretty easy to game right, I think I got two E cards from this so pretty good I just died there, um, I don't think I'm gonna jam for this, honestly. I'm just gonna take the death, because I don't think that's worth, uh, staying for. So, this is what happens when you die, guys. You get 10 seconds to, um, make a decision if you wanna jam again. And if you don't jam again, get kicked out of the dungeon. You don't, it's not like other games where you wait until the dungeon finishes, but you just get what's, um, given to you at the end. So, that's pretty bad, honestly. But this is how the game mechanic works, and you can't really argue about it since they give you a lot of gems, anyways. So, um, I think that's the end for this video, guys. I didn't have much to show. Um, pretty bad summons on my part, honestly. I uh, don't really have that much good gear yet. But we'll keep firing gems and see how it turns out. So, until then, guys, I will see y'all next time. But please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fancy junk before you go if you can. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.